Greetings, O-Doers. During our lessons about inventory, we've learned how to receive purchase orders and how to send delivery orders using Odoo. At Stealthy Woods Warehouses, we would like to make these processes even faster with our barcode scanners. The good news is that barcodes aren't only used to identify products, they can also trigger actions. This way, operations like moving items in and out of our inventory become much easier. When packing an order for our client, I just need to scan the products, then the barcode that triggers the validation action, and voila, the whole thing is packed up in just a few scans. So let's look at how to do that right now. All right, so here we are on our Odoo database. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is install the barcode application. All right, so I've already done that. If you need to, you can do that from the apps module. And once you've done that, let's go ahead and jump into inventory configuration, settings, and let's activate the option to use barcode scanners. All right, I already have that option activated right here. If you need to go ahead and do that now and be sure you click on save before moving forward. All right, now let's go ahead and print our barcode commands. So when I click this button, I will be given a PDF with different barcodes and there are actions related to these barcodes such as validate, discard, cancel, and more. So I'm going to be sure that I print these this page out so that I have easy access to these barcodes and can just click and go. All right, so let's go back to our Odoo database and then we'll go to configurations operation types. Now Odoo will generate some generic barcodes for each operation type. So for example, if we go to receipts, all right, I have a barcode warehouse receipt. Okay, so it's quite simple. It's pretty straightforward. And there will be, of course, a different barcode for each operation type, as we can see here. Now let's go ahead and um, start using some of these barcodes. Let's see what happens when we actually go to try to create a receipt, for example. So let's go to our barcode application. Now I have a list of some barcodes here. Um, one of them here is for the operation type. So I have my warehouse receipts. Okay, I also have some actions and a product on here as well. So let's go ahead and complete a whole flow. All right, so let's start with warehouse receipt. Okay, we're ready to receive some products. I'm gonna add a product. All right, I have my product Zebra. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and modify um, the amount we're going to receive. So I'm gonna say 20. I'm gonna confirm this. And then I'm going to validate. I'm gonna complete that action also by scanning a barcode here. All right. And then I'll have a little message saying the transfer has been validated. So it's super fast, it's super easy. And now let's check out that receipt when we go to the inventory application. All right, so I'm gonna to go to inventory, receipts for my company. And I'm actually gonna search by the product. I think that's a bit easier. Okay, and at the bottom, I have that receipt that we just created. Okay, it's validated, it's done, it's good to go. We have the products in our inventory. How simple is that? Now let's go ahead and try, um, let's try to use barcodes in a different application. Let's go to purchase. So let's imagine you create a purchase order. I already created one um, to save some time. Okay, so I have my product again, it's my zebra. Okay, I purchased 15. And let's go to the receipt. I haven't validated the receipt yet, but I have printed the picking operation. All right, so I'm going to picking operations here. I'm gonna open the PDF. All right, so I have that uh, barcode generated for the picking operation. And I also have a barcode down here for the product. All right, so I have both of those at my fingertips. All right, so I went ahead and I printed this. Okay, and now let's see when we go back to the barcode application and I scan this operation at the top. Okay, I will have that uh, purchase order right here, that receipt right here, and I can go ahead and validate by going back to my action barcode. Of course, when you have these barcodes printed for your company, I'm sure you'll be much more organized than I am right here or right now, so it'll be uh, a little bit more seamless, but it's still quite simple, even for me, even though I'm shuffling through some papers. So I'm gonna go ahead and validate this by clicking on the validate barcode. All right, of course I get the same pop-up that I would have in the purchase application as well because I didn't apply, I didn't record any done quantities. So it will automatically apply the reserved quantities. So let's go ahead, click on apply. Transfer, transfer has been validated. Again, super simple, super easy. 
Now we've seen how we can create a receipt using the barcode scanner. We've seen how we can um, receive a receipt that we created through the purchase application. Now let's go ahead and do this with sales as well. All right, so I created a sales order for my customer, Azure Interior, also for the product Zebra, of course. All right, let's go ahead and go to the delivery. Okay, I haven't um, validated this delivery just yet. Okay, so let's imagine I went ahead and I reserved some items, but there needed to be another step in the process before it validated. So I don't have the page open, but when it's ready to be validated, when someone has shipped the product, they can go simply again to the barcode application. All right. You can print the picking operation as I did for the purchase order. It's still under action, print picking operations. Okay, scan the barcode. We have that detailed right here. It says three of the product. All right, and I can validate again by going to my barcode with that action. Validate. Okay, let's see if I scan it properly. There we go. And it's as easy as that will apply. And of course, if we had those items reserved or if we recorded the done quantities, we wouldn't even have that pop up. All right. So it's super simple and easy and so convenient. OK, so as long as you have your barcode scanner configured correctly, everything else is so easy and convenient. And I definitely suggest you use it, especially if you uh, work a lot with inventory and sales. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.